What's up? Sino ulit sa kanya to? Ay, 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 ay! Dali lang. Ano ba lang ang kape ko? Lapit ko lang, ha? Alright! Oh my gosh! Kilala niyo pa ba ako? What's up, guys? It's your boy, Mike Reyes. You already know, back on my channel. And, alright, ganito yan, ha? This whole week, I told myself hindi ako maglalabas ng quick to. I don't know why. Parang nag-ano muna ako. Nag-abstinence muna ako. Nag-fasting muna ako sa, sa pagsasalita, pagdadaldal in front of the camera. And all we've been releasing and all we've been uploading are interviews and kwentuhans. Alam nyo naman yan, mga kwentuhan, breaking, where are you now? Yun yung mga kagandahan ngayon ng, ng channel natin. Meron na tayong where are you now? And um, unang-una, nagpapasalamat ako sa lahat nang sumusuporta ng channel o sa lahat ng Banyo peeps natin from all over the world at sa official Banyo community natin, Banyo people natin sa Facebook group and of course, the members of this channel, I appreciate all of you. Man, kahit di ako nagpapakita recently sa camera, nakikita ko lahat ng comments sa inyo, lahat ng magagandang salita na, na pinapadala nyo papunta sa akin, whether it be on my social media or on the channel's comment section. ba diba? Don't forget to follow all our socials kasi nagpapakahirap din yung marketing team ko. Marketing team meaning yung girlfriend ko, uh, mag-release ng content on other socials and make sure you follow those and also my personal social media uh, at mikey.reyes on Instagram dun din um, dun nakikita ko lahat ng pag engage natin pag interact natin sa lahat ng banyo peeps kaya na-appreciate kayong lahat and also don't forget your merch uh, get your merch man it's still available all of them are available so dali magkakapila lang ulit ako ha <laughs> okay ba't ba ako nandito ngayon sa harapan ng camera sabi ko hindi ako malalabas dito Monday na eh okay sige pag-usapan natin to Alright, ha, huh, this whole week has been crazy. I've been releasing great content. Um, I believe all of you have been supporting our content from, um, ano ba yung una natin? Eric Salamat, Ali Peak, Jet Manuel, and just recently, last night, Ryan Buenafe. Okay, ganito ang nangyari dyan. Pagising ko ng umaga, pagising ko kanina ng umaga, one of my Banyo peeps, one of my official Banyo peeps uh, sa members ng channel na to. Oh guys, to those who wanna be members and to see uncut videos and of course be a part of the community officially and also our Banyo sessions, please don't forget to hit that link down in the description para malaman ninyo kung paano. Anyway, one of them, my best friend actually, uh, messaged me and sent me the article. Ngayon, Um, bagong gising ako nito, literal Alam niyo yung bagong mulat lang ninyo Kinuha niyo yung phone niyo Tapos yun yung unang-una ko nakita Actually hindi Yung good morning muna ng girlfriend ko yung nakita ko And then yun yung nakita ko Which hindi na ako nakareply dun sa girlfriend ko Dahil nga, medyo nagising ako eh Nagising talaga ako dun sa article Okay, and Ha! Huh, where do I start with this? Um, this is exactly the reason why Players um, Just shut up Because Wala eh, ijudjudge siya ng tao eh Ijo-judge siya ng mga, unang-una yung mga netizens. Pangalawa, yung mga nakakabasa, nakakarinig ng storya nila. Man, ijo-judge talaga. Lalo na if they have, wala namang perfect career eh. Wala namang career na walang nangyaring masama, ba? Diba? Kahit si Lebron nga na walang ginagawang masama off the court. He's one of the most hated athletes ever. Russell Westbrook, the same. Kobe Bryant, don't give me bullshit. Yes, nung nawala si Kobe, God rest his soul, dun lahat luwabas ng mga nagmamahal kay Kobe. But when he was alive and he was playing, he was also one of the most hated athletes in the, in the world. Okay, and that is a big reason. The big reason, a big reason why uh, athletes today, eh, hindi na lang magsasalita. And not just athletes in any industry, hindi na lang magsasalita or hindi na lang sharing story nila. It's because negativity pays. You are gonna get paid to spread negativity about someone. Yun yun eh. Negativity begets views. Negativity begets um, uh, clout. Let's just face it. Yun lang naman yun eh. People enjoy reading negative stories more than positive ones. Kasi ang negative, chismis. Ang positive, eh, wag na, di ba? Kasi kumbaga, cliche, good feel, sto feel good story yan, eh. Ayoko mabasa yan. Doon tayo sa negative. Yun ang society ngayon. And it's just sad. It's really, really sad that we we are entertained by other people's mistakes. And I'm not gonna lie. Hindi ako self-righteous. Ako din, minsan. I catch myself having fun, seeing mistakes, and what happened to a person because of He did this or he did that. Diba? Yung gobyerno lang natin eh. May mga katangahan silang ginagawa. Diba? Na-entertain ako sa mga katangahan nila medyong ginagawa ngayon. Okay? And, in all honesty, mali yun. Kasi talagang dapat positive tayo. 
'di ba? I'm not saying the government is negative talaga, flat out. Eh, mahirap naman humarap ng positivity ngayon sa nangyayari sa atin dito sa gobyerno. But yun din ang dahilan kung bakit tahimik na lang ang ibang tao. Kumbaga, pag nagsalita kasi ako, kung kinento ko yung side ko, yung katotohanan na may mali din naman coming from my part, even if I full, if I take full responsibility of what I did, majudjudge ako ng tao, mapagtatawanan ako ng tao. Yun ang mahirap dun. Okay. And, let's talk about, um, uh, bakit sa akin nakikipagkwentuhan ang mga players natin. The biggest reason why players talk to me, oo, nasa sabihin nyo na nakalaro ko kasi sila, nakalaban ko kasi sila, kaibigan ko kasi sila, Um, nakaka-relate kasi ako sa kanila dahil basketball player ako. But beyond all that, the biggest reason why, and some of these players, guys, hindi ko naman nakausap ever eh. Oo, like, kilala namin isa't isa. But like, Jared Dillinger. I never had a conversation with Jared Dillinger. Ever. Ryan Buenafe, never! Ngayon lang kami talagang nagkwentuhan ni Ryan. Dati magkakadaan uh, kami, di ba? Salita, usap kami sandali. Pero never yung sit down, kwentuhan tayo, talk. Never. Never ko nakasama sa gimikan si Ryan Buenafe. But why was he so open to me? And why was he so open in telling his story and his side of the story? Because I don't judge him. Nakikitawa ako sa mga kwento niya. Nai-enjoy ko. Nakikita ko naman eh, na masaya siya. Eh. Di ba? Nakikita ko na napag... Yung napagdaanan niya, may natutunan siya doon. At nakikita ko ngayon yung positivity sa mata niya na I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, people say I'm the biggest what if in Philippine basketball history. But I'm fine. Yun nga yung sinabi niya eh. Kung hindi niyo nakuha yung message niya at the end of that video, sinabi niya yun. Na nagawa ko yung gusto ko sa basketball, which is mapaaral ko yung kapatid ko. Beyond that, okay lang sa akin. Hindi yun yung pinangarap ko. And if that's not a feel-good story to any of you or to some of you, there's something wrong. Making it to the PBA and being one of the best players in the in the country was not Ryan Buenafe's goal. His goal was to get through his childhood. He was 13 when he first tried out for a team. His goal was to get his sister diba, through her studies and help her graduate. And after that, I'm fine. Nage enjoy na lang siya sa buhay niya. Hindi niya kailangan maging ma- sikat ngayon. Hindi niya kailangan maging sikat na basketball player. <laughs> Hindi niya kailangan maging big time basketball player. Hindi niya kailangan ng ganun. He is fine where he is and he looks back at his career and tells himself, mm, nagawa ko yung gusto kong gawin. ba? Diba? Nag-MVP pa siya, nag-champion pa siya, pero at the end of the day, napag-aral niya yung kapatid niya. Yun lang. ba? Diba? And yung mga nagawa niyang kata- katarantaduhan along the way, I don't judge him for those. I've had my own mistakes. ba? Diba? I've had my own stupid stuff that I went through, that I had to go through to get to this point. So, bakit parang self-righteous tayo lahat na pag may mali ang isang tao, dinidiin natin sa kanya? Hindi ko maintindihan bakit. He's fine. I was happy with the interview. I really was. I really was. I really, really enjoyed talking to him. And I'm, I feel like 99.9% of the people who watched yesterday's video or last night's video also good vibes nung natulog. At paggising, baka ulitin nyo pa yan today. Kasi nakakatuwa talaga si Ryan. ba? Diba? And... It's funny because people say, Uy, hindi ko alam na ganun pala kakulit si Ryan. Actually, in many, many videos, people say, Uy, ganyan pala siya, no? Ganyan pala siya, ganyan pala talaga siya off the court. Nakakatuwa pala siya, hindi pala siya mayabang. Ganun talaga, bakit? Kasi nga nagtatago eh. Nagtatago sila ng totoo nilang personality. Because people people tend to judge. Lalo na when you're under the spotlight, di ba? Nasa-judge kayo. Di ba? So, ako lang, nag-event ako kasi... They're here on this channel for that main reason. Not because I'm Mikey Reyes. Not because I played with them. Not because I played against them. Not because I'm on YouTube. Not because we have 36,000 subscribers. In which, by the way, we have 36,000 subscribers. Shout out to y'all. But the main reason is because nagkwekwentuhan lang kami. Parang nagiinuman lang kami. Ganun lang. Kwentuhan lang kami. Walang judge. Walang judgments. Hindi ko sasabihing mali ka. Kwento mo lang yung story mo. Okay, cool. Meron din ako naman. Meron din naman ako sarili kong kwento na hindi rin maganda eh. So pareho lang tayo. Enjoyin lang natin yung kwentuhan natin. Hindi ako hahanap ng issue. Yes, I may be part of the media now. Yes, maybe. Pwede niyo ako i-consider na media. But I will never, hindi ka, hindi ako susungkit ng story sa'yo. Ikaw ang magkwento. Oh. Pag tas mo magkwento, okay, thank you. Natawa ako sa kwento mo. Tapos. Hindi ko sasabihin, uy bro, mali yun ah. Mali yun, pare. Kahit yung Makati issue, you never heard me say anything na, Uy, mali yun na. Hindi, never. Kikwento lang sila. Okay, cool. So, ganun din yung kay Ryan. Nagkikwento lang si Ryan eh. Okay, enjoy tayo sa kwentuhan. Di ba, tatawa din ako. <laughs> Oo nga, narita, nabalitaan ko. Ganyan eh, di ba? So, man, I'm just blabbering at this point. Pero, yun yung, yun, yun yung, ano eh, yun yung nabibwisit ako pag ko eh. Na parang, and we wonder why 
Ba't ngayon lang nagsalita si Ryan Buena forever? Kailan yung final year ni Ryan Buena sa UAAP? 2012? 2013? Kailan siya huling nakita sa PBA? Ang tagal na. Bakit ngayon lang natin nakita yung story? It's because ngayon nakahanap si Ryan Buena ng platform na hindi siya i-judge. Napapabayaan siya magkwento. At tatawanan pa yung kwento niya. Kasama niya, tatawa tayo parehas dun sa katarantaduan na ginawa mo dati. Yun yung vibe. Yun yung environment, yung atmosphere na binibigay ko sa players natin. A lot of them really did admit a lot of their mistakes. Ali Peak mismo si Man Mountain ina admit niya na kung hindi siya ganun, baka mas marami championship niya. Nagsusorry nga daw siya kay Coach Tim Cohn, di ba? Kasi dapat Coach Tim has like 26 championships by now kung nag-ayos lang si Ali Peak dati. Pero bakit open sila into admitting their mistakes? Kasi hindi ko sila judge. So, I don't understand why. Kukuha na lang ng content from my... Kung baga okay lang yun eh. Walang problema doon if you get stuff from my channel. It's fine. I know I put it out in, I put it out in the internet for everyone to get. ba? Okay lang. May credit naman eh. Okay lang nilagay naman sa nakuha yung source eh. We're fine. Pero ang sa akin lang, the whole vibe, the whole feel of that video was all positivity. Was all looking back and laughing at his mistakes and seeing how well he is now. Now, people say, when you actually read the article, okay naman. I'll be honest with you, I haven't read the article through and through. I haven't. Okay naman. So, wala namang problema eh. Kung tinranscribe mo lang eh. Or sinulat mo lang yung puong kwentuhan namin eh. Pero yung headline kasi was very, very negative. And... Hindi ko maintindihan bakit negativity ang hinahanap natin sa mga stories ng mga tao. Imbis na inilagay mo na parang Ryan Buenefe looks back at career, learns from his mistakes. That would have been a great headline. Ngayon ko lang naisip yun ha, literal. Alam niyo wala akong script. Ngayon ko lang naisip yun. Ryan Buenefe looks back at his career and learns and shares his experiences. Learns from mistakes. Ryan Buenefe is content where he is right now. Pwede naman ni positive eh. I think this is a personal rant na eh. This is nothing... Like, syempre, pag yung channel yung isipin mo, good, clicks, great exposure. Diba? Kinakalat ng mga media. Great for me. More subs, more views, more money. But, that's not my thing. I defend these players. Diba? Kaya sila komportable sa akin because they know I will defend them. Diba? So, dun lang ako... Okay lang eh. Okay lang naman eh. Hindi ko problema yung kumukuha sila ng content galing sa content ko. Okay lang yun. The same way naman. May mga quick to ako na nag-analyze ako ng mga pangyayari sa basketball na nakukuha ko din sa kanila. News nila yun and then I talk about it. That's not the problem. Ang akin lang is, it's not, hindi siya problema. It's more of, bakit ang negative natin? Bakit? Diba? I'm putting out positive content. That's my goal. This whole quick tour nga right here is all negative. Pero I just had to speak up. Kasi gusto ko din makita ng players na yun. Kung baga, pwede tayo mag-share kay Mikey. Di ba? And yun din ang biggest difference ng article sa interview. You read the headline of the article saying na heavy drinking, missing practice. Basahin mo yun. Paano may judge si Buena Fe? Ah, tarantado pala talaga yun. Wala yan. Ah, walang, nap- Kaya walang napuntahan eh. Walang kwenta-kwenta yung work ethic. Sobrang tamad. Sobrang, di ba? Sinayang niya yung talent niya. Blah, 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 blah. Watch the video. Watch how content he is at this point. Watch how happy he is. Look at him laugh at his mistakes. With me, I laugh with him. And see the difference. Di ba? That's why I don't believe in articles. I'm not saying articles are, kumbaga, walang kwenta talaga. I'm just saying it's how you write them. It's how you write them that changes the narrative of, of the story. But, pag interview, kita mo talaga. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng tao? Hindi mo, mati, hindi mo maiikot with other words that can really just change the whole the whole interview or the whole feel of the interview. Hindi. Kita mo kay Ryan, masaya siya. So, ako lang, as, as, as the host of this channel and as the owner of this channel, ako humaharap ako sa camera. Nakikita nyo ako. Kausap ko yung players. So if you hate on me, then you hate on me directly. Then fine. Pero nagulat ako, pag bukas ko pa ng article, wala pang pangalan ko sino nagsulat. Then again, I'm fine with it. But I will always defend these players because I was a player and I wasn't perfect. Hindi ako umabot ng PBA, guys. Hindi ako umabot ng PBA. But am I happy with my life? Yes. Do I look back and laugh at my mistakes? Yes. If I can do it all over again, will I change it? Apparently, no. Because I'm fine where I'm at. 
I'm convinced na ito yung plano sa akin ng Diyos. And now, yung mga natutunan ko dati, papas on ko sa mga mas pata. This is, the re- this is what I said dun sa comment ko eh. How can the young ones learn from their elders when their elders are too scared to admit their mistakes and share their stories? Paano matututo yung bata? Eh, ginajudge natin yung mga matatanda eh. Hoopers know, man. Hoopers know. I know the real ones. I know the real ones who support this channel, who send their, kumbaga, yung article pa yan lang na yun, nung lumabas talaga. Ang dami nag-message sa akin na, bro, keep doing what you're doing, di ba? Okay yan, meron tayong avenue that we can be real and we can be authentic then. That's fine. But, I don't know why we keep spreading negativity yun lang. At this point, everything around us is already negative as it is. Huwag na natin idama yung sports. I'm here trying to make everyone's ECQ a little more worthwhile. And I appreciate all the players and all the personalities, all the hooping personalities that have diba, allowed themselves, uh, allowed me to talk to them and get on this channel and share their story. Yun lang. I appreciate all of them. Pero from now on, like, Yun lang, I just wanted to put that out. I can't change anyone's opinion. I can't change anyone's content. But from coming from me, okay, from this channel, from the from the Banyo King, okay, we're here and we're gonna be positive. Whether positive or negative yung story nung kausap natin, we're gonna listen. Diba? We're gonna listen and I'm gonna we're gonna make them feel comfortable. Because at the end of the day, man, lahat tayo may mga mali. At lahat tayo pwedeng magkamali. At lahat tayo pwedeng magbago. At lahat tayo pwedeng mag and laugh at what we, how we used to think. Kasi ngayon, iba na. So, ganun exactly si Ryan Buenafe. Ryan Buenafe is the GOAT. He is the GOAT. Best high school player ever. Best UAP rookie ever. If you know, you know. If you didn't, man, now you know. Diba? That's just, that's just my take on the whole thing. I'm, I'm fine. Kung baga, we're gonna continue to do what we do. Tonight, guys, I'm excited for tonight. I didn't know that last night would be th- this, this... Kumbaga, magka-issue pa yung kagabi. But tonight is rocket out, baby. JC Intel story is out tonight. And I can't wait. Oh my gosh, man. So, tuloy-tuloy yung magagandang mga kwento natin dito sa channel natin. And you already know. Tonight, JC Intel tells his whole story. Post-retirement, the reason why he retired. And, you know, his whole basketball journey. Which was just really, kumbaga, inspiring. Sobra, guys. Did you know that he had a career-ending, um, hindi injury, pero situation. Career-ending, guys. And he got through it. Guys, I can't wait for y'all to see tonight's episode. I'm telling you. The JC Intel story, tonight, 8pm, abangan nyo yan. Hindi ko na pe-premiere para mapan- mapanood nyo niya at your own time, but 8pm tonight. Alright, and with this quick two, let's move on from this. I just had to stay my side para lang malaman ninyo that, that I will always defend the players and I will always, I will never be self-righteous and I will never judge judge one's mistakes because I have my own. And I hopefully, Holy Week ngayon guys, hopefully lahat tayo naniniwala na walang perfect sa buhay natin. Walang perfect na tao. Lahat tayo may pagkakamali so we can look at someone, listen to their mistakes, look at them, how happy they are and how they've changed and how they've changed their mindsets and the way they think. And we can be happy for them. Yun lang naman yun eh. At the end of the day man, I'm trying to spread positivity and that's that. This is me. I don't care about the other people. I don't care about the other media outlets. Wala akong magagawa doon. But from this channel, you already know. We are always going to be behind the players. Okay? And to all my Banyu peeps, I appreciate all of you really for all the support, all the love. Please don't forget to get your merch. Oh, wait lang. Inom lang ako ulit ng kape. <laughs> you can DM the page, the official Instagram page of the channel. Hit those, hit those follows as well. And man, I appreciate you guys. Yun lang yun. I'm gonna see you all tonight. Okay. No, oh, don't forget to hit the link down in the description if you're interested in being one of the members of this channel. All right. To all my Banyu peeps, I appreciate all of you. You already know more basketball content coming your way. The name is Mike Reyes. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace and love. And I'm gonna see you all tonight. Rock it out, baby.